What's going on guys, Nelson here, a Lenovo Developer Advocate. In this video, we're going to continue our Docker series. So previously we've learned about how to manage containers and volumes. So if you wanna access those videos, you can click somewhere here or here. And also there is a $100 credit that you can use when you sign up with Lenovo. So link will be in the description of this video. In this video, we're going to learn how to build our own Docker images where we can run multiple containers. So in the previous video, you saw that we created a bunch of containers based of someone else's um, image, right? So the Docker image. So in this video, we're going to build our own image and then run it ourselves. And then in the next video, I'm gonna teach you about uh, Docker registries, tagging, so on and so forth. Without further ado, let's kick off this video. Early in this series, you've learned how Docker works. So we have our code, we build the Docker image, and then from that image, we can run containers. But so far, we haven't been using our own images. So we've been using images that someone else has written for us. So for example, in here, so remember, so Nginx, so this is an image that Nginx has written. So this is the Docker official image for Nginx. So Nginx is just a web server that you can run and it's very popular, right? So in here, you can see that they have a bunch of information, uh, tags, so on and so forth, but have a look. So this Docker file link. So this is, this is how the image gets built. So if I click on, just click on any of the links, let's say that I click on 1.21, Point zero. So if I click on that, you can see that this takes me straight into this GitHub page. Now in here, this is how the image is defined. So you can see from, and then basically it has like a, a bunch of uh, commands that you can use within the Docker file. So this file right here, it's called Docker file. And then you have a bunch of commands. So here you can see that for nginx, the first command is from and then debian, right? So this is the very first command that the Docker image has to have. So the operating system that it's based from, right? And then if we look into debian, debian sorry, burst the slim. So that also, so that has a Docker image, which is based of a, another operating system or a different flavor, right? And then you can see that they define some environment variables and this is some bash command, so run, and then you can run some bash commands. So, you know, for loop, so on and so forth. And then I can scroll down, you can see another command, so copy, so you can copy files from the host to the, to the actual image. So when you run it, then you'll see that on the container and then the entry point. Uh, and then this is like um, a file which you specify with some, uh, that you specify with some commands. And then it says that, right, so I'm exposing 80. So remember when we run dash P and then we said 80, 80 maps to 80. So this is the port right here. And then uh, there's some stop signal and then the command. So this is the command that's actually run. So nginx dash G daemon and then dash, uh, or actually off daemon and then off, right? But you can see that this is a big, big Docker file, right? So what we can do with this is if I if I open up my terminal, so in here, I'm inside of the box and I can say Docker and then run and then basically dash P and then the port and then Nginx, right? So the actual image name. So I'm gonna touch on tags uh, on the next video, but in here, so what I wanna teach you here is how do we write our own Docker images, right? So. In here, you saw that if I say uh, run, so remember we had this command, so docker run, we mounted pwd, and then we copied into this file, we run in detach mode, and then the port, and this is the image name, right? So let's say that I just wanna build my own docker image that I can just, for example, give it to you, and then you can run it, right? So here, what I'm gonna do is, let's just press control C, and in here, I'm going to navigate into code. So remember before, so we have this folder, so CD code, and this is where I have some uh, 
HTML page. So here, if I do a cat and then index or HTML, you can see that this is some bootstrap right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say VI and then Docker and then file. So here we're going to create our own image. So here I'm going to say VI Docker file and make sure it's VI uh, or oh, actually make sure it's called Docker file. Enter. Now here say I for insert and then from and then we have to specify the base image. So here I'm just going to say N G N X. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm saying that so I want to take so in here, let me just go back for a second. So what I'm doing is I'm saying, right, so I'm getting the latest image. So the Nginx latest image. So here and basically I'm getting all of this for free. So my image is based of Nginx and Nginx is based from this uh, other image. So you always base your Docker image from other images. So here, if I go back and I always get this wrong. So this is meant to be N and then G and X, just like that. And now here I'm going to uh, basically press enter on a new line. So we have the image. Now I can say add. So let's add. I'm going to say index dot HTML. So I want to add this file and bundle it into this image. Now remember before. So in here, so if I go back to the Nginx or official page, so in here, remember we mounted, so dash V and then we say forward slash user and then this is the path. So let's take this path and I want to add the index.html into this path. And it's as simple as that. So you can see that this is one command, right? So add index.html into this path inside of the container when it's when it's running right and to be honest this is like the simplest uh, docker image that you can have so here i'm going to press escape colon and then wq and there we go so now we have a docker file how do we build the actual image so because right right now what we have is just the actual code right so we have some code now we need to build the docker image so to do that we say docker and then build dash t and we have to specify the tag i'm going to cover tags later uh, but in here let's just say my and then app and then you can say dot so dot is the current directory where the docker file is so make sure you have the docker file as i have so capital d docker and then file now i'm going to press enter and you can see that sending build context to Docker daemon. So you've learned the Docker architecture and then from Nginx and then have a look. So we have two steps. Step one, which is the from keyword. Step two, adding index.html into this path right here when the container is running. And to be honest, you can see that that was super quick. Now we have so successfully tagged my app and then latest, right? So my app is this. So my app is this. And if you don't specify a tag, it gives you latest by default. And this is the hash of the image. Now, if I type Docker and then image, so we can see all the list of images that we have LS, you can see that we have three images. Have a look, my app, Nginx, and then Docker getting started and all of them are latest in here. So now let's run a container based of our image. How do we do it? So we say Docker and then run. And then here I want to say dash P for port. And I want to expose this time 9000 to 80. So remember, so 80. So if I go back in here for a second and let's just take, for example, any of these Docker files and the base image, which is Nginx in here, exposes 80, right? So we can just say 80 inside of the container in here. And then here I'm going to say my and then app. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you want to run this in uh, detached mode, 
So in the background, you can say dash D right here. So now if I press enter, you can see that it's running. If I do Docker and then PS to list all the running containers, have a look. So we have 9,000 in here. So this right here, so image, my app, and you can see from the host, it's listening on 9,000. So port 9,000 forwarding that to 80 inside of the container. So now we have a container up and running. You can see seven seconds. So if I basically, if I open up my, my web browser and then in here, this container right here is running with the volume mounted. So let's change this from 3,001 to 9,000, just like that. And you can see that it works. So this is really nice. So you can see that we basically now, we're not mounting a volume. So here, we're not mounting a volume. So let me just show you. So here before, so dash V. So remember before, so this was the command, which is running on port 3001. So here we had to mount the volume in here to have access to the page. But now the file itself is included. So it's bundled up into the image, right? So, and when we run the image, the container has those files. So this is, so we have our code, we will, we build the image and then we run a container. So let's just go back for a second in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out of this. Oops. So cancel vi index.html. And then in here, so instead of hello world, what I want to do is I want to change this to hello. So let me just delete. So I'm going to say DW, 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 and then running containers with own Docker images, and then just put like a smiley face. So let's just call them WQ. And then there we go. So now I'm going to run the exact same command. So here, so I'm going to say Docker build. So let's build this. There we go. It built again. And now if I, let me just say Docker PS and I want to stop this container right here, which is listening on port 9,000 or in fact, let's just leave it. So let's just run the exact same command, but with a different port. So you can see the difference. So 9,001, there we go. If I now open up my browser and here 9,001, and you can see running containers with own Docker images. So there you have it. So this is how you build your own Docker images. So obviously um, our Docker image is very small. So here, so cat and then Docker file. So actually our Docker file, our Docker file is very small in here, but you know, these files, they can go, uh, they can be, you know, very big, but depending on the application, that you have and the image that you want to build. So if you want to learn more about Docker files, so just type Docker file, and this is the Docker reference. So Docker file reference for from Docker themselves. So they have really good documentation. And here you can learn about everything that we've covered in this video. So here you can see from in here. So from the from keyword, so from initializes a new build image and sets the base image, right? So this is what we've done. And then if I scroll down, you can see, so in here we have um, CMD, we have labels, you can set environment variables. You can also uh, use the add and then copy as well. So add and copy command. Uh, you have the entry point, arg, work directory, so on and so forth. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please do let us know and also comment down below. Smash the like button and I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.